what is the difference between constant flow and flood and drain? So this is all about your grow bed and all about how the water is moving through your grow bed. So I wanted to go through and show you what, the, what it actually means, what is flood and drain, what is constant flow, and how the differences work. This video goes through and gives you that real basic information so you can work out which type of system you want to run. Everybody does it differently and just heads up, I have one of these is constant flow and one of these is flood and drain. There's two, two grow beds here and I'm going to show you how they work and give you an idea as to what is working and what isn't working and what you can grow in the different ones. How cool is that? Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'm putting videos up every couple of days, so make sure that you hit subscribe so you can get all of them. All right, so as you've seen in the playlist, this is my fairly new little barrel aquaponic system. My left hand side is flood and drain, and you can hear it's draining out now, which is awesome. So it floods up to about here, drains out, floods up, drains out. Right hand side, the water stays constantly at this level. Why I did this is I wanted to be able to show you the difference in growing between con constant flow and flood and drain. Now, they're both getting lots of sun, they've both got the same amount of fertilizer, the same amount of fish, the same water, everything is exactly the same. But have a look over here at our coriander. Tastes bloody fantastic. I'm just and all getting harvested today because I'm putting some cucumbers in. But this is one plant, and I'm feeling like the coriander queen right now. But look at this one compared to this one. Still doing well, but the one on the right, which is in the constant flow, that is three times as big as this one. Now, we come up the back a little bit, I'm watching I don't trip over the duckweed. We have some silver beet over here. And it is, again, three times the size of the silver bait moving you into the flood and drain on the left-hand side. Rather interesting, isn't it? And now, just because I like being who I am, I have my strawberries. So, we have a silver bait leaf right in the middle there. This is one strawberry flower. These were all planted at the same time, just so you know. So we've got the strawberry flower here all planted at the same time and I'm going to come around the back here because this one has one, two, three, four, five, six flowers and look at that gorgeous strawberry needs to ripen on the other side is there a difference between flood and drain and constant flow same water, same amount of nutrients, same amount of fertilizer, same amount of fish, same planted at the same time this is my experience of it, and I will say constant flow rocks. I do like constant flow though. Flood and drain is working perfectly. You've been listening to it. Mm, gosh, that green is good. I am making a beautiful dressing this afternoon. Just wanted to show you. I wanted to show you the difference, and you can you can see it. The flood and drain gets the morning sun, whereas this gets more of the afternoon sun. They both do get about the same amount of sun. But it's up to you to make up your own mind as to which works. I'm just putting some stuff out there for you to have a look at. So yeah. Sorry to interrupt. Look, to really boost your aquaponics learning, jump on over to my website for some free online training. And it's really structured and it's going to help you get a really good grasp of how this works. Rather than trying to pick it bits and pieces everywhere, let's get the, the foundations happening. Okay, so some free online training at www dot the aquaponics lady dot com jump on over and get your free training